Yeah, he's a warrior. I think um, he's one of those players that polarizes opinions. I think if he's with you, he's a star. His game lacked maturity and decision making. I have to say, you match that with talent that he has, and you've got an incredible player. If you were playing against him, some of his stuff is still occasionally would frustrate you. You see more intent to try and get people in trouble. Than He's come home, uh, and that's the big key, I think, for him. He's comfortable. He knows he's got the love of the fans. In that league, yeah. he has got the stuff that gets you on the edge of your seat. Might be because he's an absolute star. Who would have ever thought I would be back here in Manchester United, back where I signed my first big deal with. I'm back. James Wayne is back as a Red Devil. As you see, I was getting greeted by everybody. Everybody's excited, and they're revealing me as their newest signing. It's so electric here. The energy is amazing, and I'm so happy to be back home. I didn't think I would get this warm of a welcome after what happened last time, I signed for my dream club once again. But that leaves the question, what happened in Madrid? And to answer that, you have to rewind it. All the way back to the second leg in the Champions League. After a great performance by me, we were up 2-1 on aggregate. And we just had to seal the deal at home. But that was going to be easier said than done. Mbappe made his presence known, but it was up to me to ultimately bring us back. And I scored the winning goal to go up 3-2 on aggregate in the 90th minute. Probably the best and most important goal I've ever scored in my entire life. It took us on to the semifinals with energy and belief. But then, the semi-final happened. We had to get an important win. Once again, we were away going against our rivals, Atletico Madrid. And coming off that win against PSG, we thought we had momentum. But boy, were we wrong. Because Atletico came out hot and came out fast. With Antoine Griezmann scoring the first goal and the second goal. But he wasn't done there. He scored a hat trick. And we had no answer for Antoine Griezmann. But it doesn't just stop there. We couldn't score and they just kept scoring. It wasn't just Antoine Griezmann, it was everybody. And they ended up embarrassing us, going up 5-0 in the first leg. We couldn't even score a goal. That left us with an almost impossible task to score five goals at home and somehow rally back. Like I said, this task was almost impossible. But with the home crowd, Real Madrid, and the belief of our players, we had hope. And I was not gonna let us lose if it's the last thing that I did. I was determined to make sure we came back and won. No matter what I had to do, whether it was getting assists, making great runs, playing defense, or scoring goals myself, I did everything that I could possibly do to bring us back against our rivals. The Champions League means so much to me. It is one of the most important trophies that I've always wanted.
going past the 75th minute, I had already had two assists and two goals to bring us back. But then this happened. I played a ball in the middle to Jovic, and it might have been the easiest tap in. It was our last opportunity, and he just did not score it. So after that, I lost it. I did everything I could, and his team failed me. I feel like I couldn't even look at my teammates. And I just wanted to get out of there. So after that game, I basically quit the season. No other game mattered to me. And I thought to myself, my teammates are gonna be here for me. I don't wanna be here for them. I can't be the only one putting in the effort. So I made the biggest decision that I ever made. I went inside to go call my agent. I was just ready to get out of Real Madrid. And when I talked to him on the phone, he basically told me he'll do his best to see what he can find. Like I said, I was just done. And I wanted to get out of Real Madrid. So I'm patiently waiting, waiting for the call back, waiting for my agent to say something, to return something. And so many thoughts are going through my head. You know, I don't know what's going on. But then I finally get the phone call. He tells me that Manchester United will be interested in me to come back and finish what I started. With a new coach, things will be different. And I can't lie, it made me so excited to hear that I can go back and fulfill my destiny with the team that I always wanted to. The team that I failed at the beginning, I have a chance to go back and right all my wrongs. And it's just an amazing feeling. Now, since I'm going back to Manchester United, I want to make sure I do things the right way this time. But I don't want to come back the same. I want to do something different. I want to come back a new me, a new James Wayne. I had the perfect idea. I got up early the next morning to go see a hairstylist to work on my new look. I wanted to bring something new to the fans that they haven't seen before, a more mature me. Because when I was there, I was just a kid. You know, I want them to know years later, I'm a way better footballer. I'm just a better person. Hopefully, we won't disappoint them. <laughs>